you yeah, guys so this is the redmi 9 and slot and it has uh, another name the poco m2 siva and in this video i will show you how to customize this one we're going to replace the rom using the nusantara os android custom rom version 4.1 and based on android 12 okay and i also <coughs> going to make a quick review about the rom okay this is official and it's quite stable enough okay all the steps and file i will provide in my blog so please check the description box okay so stay tuned and check it out Okay, hello guys, Assalamualaikum. We met again with Tom Bob. This time we have another Xiaomi phone. This is the Redmi 9. With the name, with the code name is Lancelot. And today, <coughs> I'm going to show you how to customize this ROM. <coughs> We're using the Android 12 Nusantara OS for 0.2. Okay. <coughs> And this ROM is also unified, it means that you can use it for the POCO M2 with the code name is SIVA. Okay. Both device is unified and sometimes call lava. Okay, let's get started. So let's go to settings and let's check the stock ROM. Okay. <clears throat> uh, in this one I'm using the MU 12.0.3. Based on Android 10, okay. <clears throat> it has 3 gigs of RAM and I think 32 gigs of internal storage, okay. And <clears throat> code name is Lancelot. Uh, okay. Where is it? Uh, okay, this one. This is the Lancelot using the MediaTek. 6768 okay so i have unlocked this one okay, it's very simple you can check my other video for the tutorial and you must wait for seven days okay <clears throat> okay let's check check it out the me first and five times go back find the additional settings and the follow-up option Okay. <clears throat> Where is it? <laughs> okay, <clears throat> here it is. One has been unlocked. Okay. So uh let's get started. Just turn off the pawn and we need to go to the fast boot mode. Okay, as usual, fast boot mode can be accessed by pressing the volume down and the power button at the same time. Hmm. Okay. And you see the screen it means that we are in the fast put mode. Okay. Let's put down the pawn and plug the USB cable. Okay, uh let's open the Windows terminal right here and we need to type some comment okay this is the steps okay this is the step and this is the file okay so first thing we need to do is we want to flash the custom recovery okay in here we we are using the shrp SHRP okay skyhawk recovery project just download this file and this extract to that recovery.emg then you can rename it so you will not get confused okay so just type the comment fastboot space flash space recovery and <clears throat> just click and drag the file and the second one is fastboot space reboot recovery 
guess we want to go to the recovery just hit enter okay after that we need to format the data and reboot to recovery again okay let's switch so this is the display okay i'm using this recovery instead of pbrp or orange fox because this is uh the custom recovery that i know that can decrypt the partition of redmi 9 okay <laughs> so don't be confused it's just the same okay now we need to go to the wipe option right here and select format data okay type yes hit enter and hit ok right here select reboot and advance select the uh, recovery okay okay now we already in the custom recovery again this time we want to wipe the cast at the end of it okay so go to the wipe again this time it's like advanced wipe select the the graphic data and cast hit okay okay again uh okay and it's always a good idea to back up the email in base pen okay so let's go to the backup menu right here where is it uh okay this one and select the uh where is it select enable compression for smaller size and, and check all the options except for the nv data nv gf key and the nv ram okay <clears throat> the three item contains the email base band that needed for your pound okay yes hit okay will back up so make sure you have you put that put the files in the safe place such as micro sd computer or usb otg okay uh, let's switch the screen again and let's open under the explorer i oh, sorry okay this is our internal storage let's copy this file just for caution <coughs> oh, sorry let's paste it here <coughs> and the next steps is we want to flash the custom ROM, so let's copy some file. Okay, we're using the Android 12 Nusantara 4.1. Let's copy the file, and it is vanilla base. Okay, so it doesn't include the gaps, so we need to install the gaps separately. So download the I'm 64 and Android 12. Okay, we're using the new gaps. <clears throat> uh, all the files and step are all included in my blog so please check the description box okay and if you want to use mages you can always copy the mages okay in the link you will find the mages apk but it's the same as the zip you just need to rename it okay okay then let's switch again this time goes to the uh, uh sorry go to the flash menu right here select the nusantara okay just uncheck this one and hit ok to confirm the operation will blah 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 okay just hit flash okay so while flashing just wait because it's quite a large file about 100 megabytes ok 
again i will remind you for you guys again please make sure you have backup the email okay <laughs> if you broke something you can always restore it okay don't say it that i don't remember don't say that i don't remind you okay <laughs> It doesn't mean you will all uh, it, it doesn't mean you will lose your email but uh, better safe than sorry right <laughs> okay still in progress okay now it's flashing the vendor file okay uh this rom is compatible with the poco m2 uh what is it uh sorry we'll check it again okay yes this rom is compatible to the poco m2 with the get code msiva but for the custom recovery i haven't tested okay i will search uh, i will check if it's compatible okay, if it's using the different uh custom recovery i will include it in the in my block okay it's finished now and now let's hit okay select reboot uh advance and recovery okay <clears throat> okay now let's go to the flash again this time we're going to flash the nick caps okay uh, at more zip and then the canary okay this is the mages okay hit okay uh, confirm okay let's check it out uh seems that there is a problem uh let's try to change it uh using another gaps okay seems that something wrong with the nick gaps okay so we're going to try to <coughs> change the gaps okay we're going to try to use the big gaps okay so open another spoiler and let's copy the bit gaps and hope it is, it is working <laughs> okay let's switch again uh, okay let's like reboot and advance uh, recovery Okay, sometimes uh, you, you don't have a uh, compatible gap so you have to use you have tried to use another gaps okay it's rarely but sometimes it will occur so go to the fast again this time uh, use the bit gaps that's right okay fast Okay, I hope it's, this is working.
Oh, nice. See, it is working. It has an error message uh, in the end. <clears throat> Uh, but error message is just for unmounting. Okay, so we can ignore this one. Okay, go back, select install, and select the images. Okay, press it. Okay, <clears throat> it's already done too, and it has an error message, but but we can ignore it. it seems that the SHRP has a bug for unmounting partition after installing, but it's not a problem, I think. Okay, just hit OK right here. Select reboot and uh, select reboot again. Okay, let's hope there is no problem. uh once where is it uh select reboot select reboot again Okay, nice. See, it is working now. We have a uh, Santar OS booting logo. Okay, Okay, now we are in the Android home screen. Okay, and you will not see any wizard because the kneecaps and bit caps doesn't have a setup wizard, but it's better because we don't have to click next, next, next. <laughs> okay, guys, I will stop this video and we'll continue. Uh, uh can after this i will stop this video and i'll make a quick review about this rom okay okay guys so this is the redmi 9 lens slot and we have successfully installed the uh, santa os 4.2 using the android 12 okay let's make a quick review about this rom i will make a quick review about the most important thing for the pawn, okay, the basic function. Good. First thing I want to show you, we have install magic right here, <clears throat> and you can see we have installed the latest one. Okay. If you want to hide the apps, you must enable the JGIS and rename the magic file. Okay. You can go to here, enable the JGIS, and hide the magic apps. Okay, I will not cover this one. You can check. In my other video in the description box. Okay, now let's just open the root checker. I just want to show you that the pawn has been rooted. Okay, just granted. And congratulations, your root access is properly installed. Now let me 9 and the 12. Okay, <clears throat> this is the new display for Android 12, and it's quite nice. Okay. <clears throat> okay, maybe some of you guys want to know if my email is safe. Okay, let's check it out. Let's check the email by pressing the zero, uh, sorry, the star sharp zero six and sharp again. Okay, you can see it has an email. 
And let's check the baseband. Part one baseband. Where is it? Ah, uh, kind of forgot. <laughs> Okay, you can see it reading my SIM card at here, and is it has a fault? Eh? Okay, voice over LTA. Okay, and I'm using the Wi-Fi. It means that the Wi-Fi is also working. Okay, nice. <coughs> and let's now check the GPS. I already installed the maps. You can skip this one and. Like this button. Okay. Hit the button again. And okay, it's working. It's quite fast and it's accurate. This is my position. Okay, guys, so the GPS is working. And how about the camera? Okay, let's give it a try. This is the camera. And I will take a picture and record the video. Okay, let's take a picture. And I'm going to take a video. Okay guys, this is a video recorded from the Lancelot, the camera. Okay, let's stop this video. And now let's use the front camera. Let's take a picture. <clears throat> And let's take a video recording. Okay, hello guys. Now I'm recording the video using the front camera. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I'll show you uh, the result. I'll open the gallery. Okay, this is the result of the back camera. It's not the best, but quite decent. I think. It's just the same like the stock camera. Okay, and this is the camera uh, from the front camera. Okay. And let's check the video. Okay, this is record. From the lens camera. Okay, let's stop this video. Okay, quite nice. Okay, so the camera is all the function of the camera is working. The back and front camera for taking a picture and recording video. Okay, so it's not a problem. Now let's <clears throat> test sound and video playback. Okay, let's uh, YouTube. Okay, let's open the YouTube. And let's find a music video. Okay, Baja Hitam Opening Indonesia. Okay, can you hear the sound? Okay, it's working perfectly. Uh, sound and video, so there is no problem. Okay, what else? Uh, uh, let's check the settings. Okay, if you want to customize this one, you can always go to the Nusantara Wings. This is where you can customize your system. Lock screen, status bar, and hardware. Okay, this one the game space. Uh, it will make your game better because you will not inf interfere with the notice. Okay. okay, so for the conclusion, I think this ROM is not the best uh, because 
it's already in Android 12 but it's better than the stock ROM okay it has not it doesn't have a big problem all the main function is working perfectly the camera the GPS the SIM card the Wi-Fi the sound and etc okay so for the verdict I will recommend this ROM okay if you want to enjoy the Android 12 system UI the new system UI okay thank you guys I hope you like this video if you find this video helpful please give it a thumb okay <clears throat> and I also have last video about custom ROM and uh, routing please check my other video it's it's a I have a last video about phone especially the Samsung Xiaomi Realme and etc okay and if you subscribe it make me excited to make a new video thank you thank you guys have a nice day stay healthy stay safe and wassalamualaikum hey okay guys uh sorry i need to add this video short video okay this one has a bug the bug is if we select the power button go to the on fans and restart it will not restart okay it will just turn off uh, but after that you can always turn it on okay let's give it a try advance restart it won't reboot the system but instead it will turn off but i think it's not the problem because you can always turn it on okay uh, for me it it doesn't uh it not the big problem okay if you have the problem with that you should not use this wrong okay see it will not restart but we can press the power button and turn it on again okay so guys thank you